Hello, Assalamualaikum, welcome back. So now we are at the next video in finding the partial compos the partial fraction decomposition when the when the denominators in the form of a repeated linear factors. So tadi previous video kita ada um, kita ada distinct linear factors bermaksud bahagian denominator yang untuk yang sebelum ni adalah denominator linear yang berbeza linearnya but now this time we have a repeated linear factors okay sekarang, sekarang ni kalau kamu tengok contoh dekat sini okay if you see this kind of example here if you look at this example you will see that miss kenapa ada tiga jenis kenapa ada tiga term ada a b dan c pula kali ni because a adalah untuk untuk the first linear where iaitu x minus 3 and then plus it with b divided by the the, the linear inside here which is x plus 5 and whereas the third term we have c but the c is what we call as the repeated linear okay linear yang sama x tambah 5 tetapi kita letak, kena letak squared so i'm gonna make this as red color squared okay the the second term then the third term is almost the same it's just that because of this they are because of they are the same linear kita panggil dia repeated linear and so dia repeat sekali dan dia repeat dengan mempunyai kuasa dua sekali bersama-sama di situ so that is how you write down your partial fraction remember ya yeah? this is everything that we call as partial fraction abc ni semua adalah dalam bentuk partial fraction kita panggil dia ok so now first of all mesti make sure adakah ini proper fraction ataupun bukan so here is where x to the power of 0 bawah ni x is to the power of q x to the power of 3 so atas lebih kecil daripada bawah this mean this is a proper fraction so kalau proper fraction bolehlah terus pergi ke partial fraction so now what we have to do is just duplicate this and then we change it into the color that we want so I want to change it into green so green <laughs> so then it is equals to a over x minus 1 next term b over x plus 2 so x plus 2 inilah yang dinamakan sebagai repeated linear let me oh don't cut this i need this paste this is what we call as the repeated linear disebabkan mempunyai squared di sini so that repeated linear mesti ditulis semula tetapi new alphabet c okay and then you write down x plus 2 in bracket but then you must also write down squared that is the technique untuk decompose untuk decomposition of partial fraction yang kedua yang kedua adalah mengenai repeated linear factors follow saja jangan takut-takut uh, jangan ragu-ragu just apply when you see a squared over there kalau kamu kalau kamu nampak factors yang mempunyai squared automatic Tahu dah, oh ini repeated linear. Aku kena letak satu yang tak ada squared, satu lagi ada squared. Ha, itulah konsep partial fraction untuk repeated linear. Easy? Yeah. And so, what we have to do is that, sama sahaja, kita akan jadikan everything here, konsep dia semua sama untuk partial fraction. Kita akan jadikan yang warna kurungan warna oren ni didarabkan dengan didarabkan dengan denominator di bahagian bawah and so we will get 9 is equals to a times x plus 2 squared plus b times it with x minus 1 times x plus 2 and then plus it with c c times i don't have enough space so i write it down plus c times x minus 1 Okay, kalau kamu ada ruang, kamu letaklah straight je. Tapi saya tak cukup ruang. So, 9. Uh, and so, that is your literally your statement lah. Okay, your statement is now 
a very neat and nice I don't want to continue yet let me uh, make a, a box here a box here means this is very 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 important for you to focus on okay so this is VVIP so this is very very important for you to sub in the value of X one by one so now let's try let x is equals to which one is easier i'm gonna start with one lah sebab nak jadikan b0 so then x is equals to one oops x is equals to one so nine is equals to a cube squared plus b0 here is two tambahkan dengan c zero also C zero. So C is also zero. So they are both of these are zero, and so kita akan dapat nilai kita A adalah one. Easy. Our A is now one. So now let's do the second assumption. Let x is equals to the next one. I'm gonna take negative two. So x is equals to negative two. 9 is equals to a 0 squared plus b negative 3 times 0 plus with c times negative 3 and so here 0 there 0 and so you are going to buy 9 is equals to negative 3 c which means your c is negative 3 yay your c is here already so now what's left is finding the b so finding the b uh, you must be trying to figure out what number can you use you dah pakai negative two you dah pakai one what else that i can use the simplest that you can use is let x is equals to zero let x is equals to zero is the easiest to be used okay gunalah apa penombor pun tetapi saya prefer nombor guna nombor kosong supaya senang not mangira. So let x is equals to zero, and then nine is equals to a times two squared plus b times it with negative one times it with two plus c times it with negative one. The thing is, you have your value of negative c and eh, negative c plus you have your value of c already, and also a. So you can just simply solve it. You will get 9, 4, minus 2B, plus 3. So 7, 2, negative 2B, and so B is equals to negative 1. Is it right? Yay, yay, B is equals to negative 1. I found it. And then I have found my A, B, and C. And now we are very happy to sub in the value of A, B and C ke dalam partial fraction. Yay, yay. So now I'm just going to duplicate that. Tak maaf ya, saya memang ambil je ni. So duplicate and put it there. So I'm going to delete the rest of the line here. So I have duplicated it. Bring it up a little bit. And so... I will now delete the A, B and C. Since kita dah ada nilai A tu sendiri, dah ada nilai B tu sendiri, masukkan sahaja. And my A is 1, my B is negative 1, my C is negative 3. Okay, the thing is, this is not simplified. The most simplified answer, it should be, should be very, very perfectly written as, as what? Let me... Oh, pardon me. In conclusion, my final answer should be very, very in terms of simplified, which is minus. Here has become minus 1 over x plus 2. And then here also becoming minus 3 over, 3 over x plus 2 squared. And that is your simplified answers. Let's go to the next example. So next example here. We have, soalan kita ada squared. 
Kalau ada squat bermaksud kita panggil ni sebagai repeated linear. Okey. Ingat ya pesan saya kalau nampak je squat terus faham dia adalah repeated linear. So kalau tahu dia repeated linear memang dia akan jadi partial fraction yang mempunyai repeated form. Okey repeated linear lah. Repeated punya <coughs> partial fraction. Okey jangan takut. The thing is you must always always check sama ada soalan ini pas soalan ini proper fraction ke improper fraction so you got to double check first so atas ni adalah x cube bawah ni adalah x squared okay here i have written it down here so x cube bahagi x squared bermaksud literally this is what this is improper fraction so kalau improper fraction boleh ke terus jawab pergi ke Partial fraction boleh terus ke? Tidak boleh. Tidak boleh terus pergi ke partial. Dia mesti lalu long division dulu. Okay. After dia dah lalu long division, barulah dia boleh, barulah dia akan berjumpa dengan proper fraction. So here I have written down it so that saya jimat masa untuk dalam video ni. And then I have found that my proper fraction is 3x minus 5. Okay, this is actually x to the power of 1. So, x to the power of 1 is smaller than x to the power of 2. And so, I am very confirmed that this is proper fraction. And then, I can duplicate this proper fraction. And then, I try to solve the proper fraction. Okay, so now, let's change this into becoming different color. I think I will want to use uh, blue. Shall I use blue? Can I use the blue? Yes. I want to use blue. Or maybe... Yeah, I want to use blue. So sorry about that. And then equal with... Ha! Equal with what? Jangan lupa bahawa ini adalah kuadratik yang boleh defactorizekan. And in fact, I just got this from this. So I just... Write down it back. 3x minus 5 over over x, x, 1, 1. Positive, positive. So actually, there are, there are what? There are x plus 1 squared. So, yang ini memang literally dari soalan, ya. Yeah? So, jangan pening-pening. This is just coming from the soalan. So, now what I have to do is use this and change it into partial fraction. So we have a over x plus 1 plus b over x plus 1 mesti ada squared. Inilah yang dinamakan sebagai repeated linear factors. Okay, this is it. Repeated linear factors apabila kamu ada squared. Alright, just make sure atas ni mesti apa? Proper fraction. Okay. Bila soalan ni proper fraction, baru boleh apply A plus B plus C and so on. Okay. Remember that. Itu benda yang paling penting sebelum selesaikan partial fraction. Okay. Now, I will keep on doing this. Times every term by its denominator. And I will get 3x minus 5 is equals to A times x plus 1 and then plus B. Tada! So that is my statement. So this is the statement that we need to focus on. So I think I'm gonna change this a little bit. Uh, yeah, like that. Okay. And so I'm so happy to 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 let to use to assume one of the x, let x is equals to negative 1. Should I do that first? Sebab saya boleh jadikan A kosong. Okay. And so negative, so 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 minus 5 gonna give us negative 8. So tak payah tulis dah tu demi satu. Just write down negative 8. Just write down negative 8 is equals to A times 0. 
a times 0 ya so a times 0 plus b so your a memang kosong lah and so your b is just equals to negative 8 yay you got your b already your job right now is to just find a your a right now can i just duplicate this Saya, saya sengaja je duplicate untuk saya senang nampak. So, I put it there. And here, I would like to assume, I would like to let x is equals to 0. Sebab kita tak tahu nak letak apa kan. Kamu boleh je letak 1, you can put 2, you can try 3, whatever number that you want to try, you are allowed to do that. It is just that me, I want to use 0 because it's easier for me. So here we get negative 5 equals to a times 1 plus b. So remember we already have our b. Our b is equals to negative 8. Okay, and so our answer here is 3 is equals to a. Hmm. And so, bila dah dapat jawapan A dan juga jawapan B And we should be very very happy now Because we can sub in the value of A and B Into the partial fraction here Duplicate Now we can sub in the value of A and B Ke dalam partial fraction So here is 3 and here is negative 8 Okay, and then I can simplify it again. Don't please don't be afraid to simplify it. If you know, you can simplify. Okay, jangan takut untuk simplify selagi mana kamu yakin kamu betul. Okay, now you delete this negative, and it should be here lah, right? Ah, tapi ini bukan jawapan akhir kamu. Your answer is not takat partial. Eh, uh, your answer is not takat proper fraction yang you dah cari. No, this is not the only answer. The only, the final answer should be the warna hitam di sini. This is your final answer. That's why I put it in black color. So that you know that our answer is the black color over here. Let me delete this one. Okay. Our final answer should be written down as the original question is equals to 2x plus with edit. Back here, we should delete this. Kita patut buangkan dia sebab kita dah mencari dia punya partial fraction. So, kita tinggal masukkan sahaja partial fraction ni ke dalam jawapan akhir kita. So, so here, I'll duplicate this and put it there. Maybe I would like to make it a bit smaller because I don't have space. And also here, duplicate this and a bit, bit smaller and put it beside it. Okay, and here I would like to change it into black color because final answer should be in black color. And maybe I can just tebalkannya. Oh, tebal sangat ni. So, there you go. That is my final answer. Untuk soalan ini, just make sure that you know where is this coming from. This is actually coming from the partial, eh, the 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 impro, uh, the proper, the proper fractions. So this is actually the proper fractions that you have um, found using the long division. Uh, so itu adalah jawapan belakang. Okay, jawapan di depan ni tetap perlu ditulis. Okay, 2x mesti ditulis dan juga soalan asal juga wajib ditulis. Okay, soalan asal adalah 2x cube yang dia ada divided by uh, x plus 1, the whole thing squared, mesti ditulis. So, this is actually x plus 1, the whole thing squared. Mana-manalah, uh, asalkan sama sahaja. Yang penting, mesti ada yang di depan ni 2x dan, ni, dan yang di belakang ni adalah dia punya partial fraction well done if you really really understand this video good luck